for 13 years. And though this makes our story seem long, I know it's just beginning. We met at 12 years old, far too young to comprehend the feelings that I feel for you now. My feelings for you have changed over the years we've been together. I went from dislike, to tolerate, <laughs> to like, to puppy love. And today, to real, undeniable love for you. I love you for every little thing that you are. How you care for each and every person you see, so much it hurts. How you push me to go beyond my limits and everything I do. How you laugh at my jokes. How you tell me you love me every single day without uttering a word. My love for you has grown every single day since the moment I first said it. It has evolved into something huge and amazing. And it won't stop here today. In fact, I knew how much I would love you today back when I was 13 years old. So let me read for you the letter I wrote for you and tell you how 13-year-old Aiden knew I would love you on your wedding day. I love you, Sophie. With all my heart, you're my only thing and everything. I want you and I, and I need you forever. You're all I ever think about. All day, every day, you're on my mind. We're meant to be together. For better or worse, sickness and health, rich or for poor, I will be for you forever. No matter how challenged, <laughs> challenging our lives may get, no matter how high the waves, I'll stay with you till the very end of a million years and for forever. For you, I'll do anything. Sophia, I devote myself to this covenant of marriage to be your stronghold, your pillow, and everything that you need. You make me into something greater than myself. And to live up to that will be my life's work. It feels unreal. I always thought about what I would say to you on our wedding day. And it's funny how it has changed over the years. When we were 13, I was probably practicing in the shower, talking about how cute you were and you were my Prince Charming or something lame like that. When I was 16, it was probably about how sweet you were and how I always knew that you were more than puppy love. At 20, it started to feel more realistic and we became so immersed in one another and you were truly my best friend. And now at 24, I stand here today knowing that all my years of practicing vows in my head had been utterly and completely useless. Yes, you are my Prince Charming and you are so much more than puppy love. And of course you are my best friend. There have been times in my life that I have really struggled. I have felt a lot of darkness and a lot of pain and dread. And there were days when I really did not know how I was going to do it. And when I look back and I think about how I got through it, I think of God and I think of you. I am strong and I am fierce. But I believe the strongest parts of my soul are you. The part that tells me to get up and fight and to always keep trying. That I am good enough and that I am strong enough. That part of my soul is you. You are so deeply entwined in me that I, I truly don't know where I end and you begin. You are not my soulmate. You are my soul. Thank you for giving me your strength. Thank you for sharing with me your security and your certainty. All of the parts where I feel I'm too soft or parts of me that I believe are too weak, you perfectly melt into. And I thank you for making my soul whole. People always say marry your best friend, but I don't think that's quite right. Today I finally marry the rest of my soul. I love you. So Lord, we trust you and we bless this marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Aiden, you may now 
kiss your breath. So my life as a father with a daughter that dates was quite easy, being that she only had one boyfriend <laughs> the whole time. So, <laughs> so it was just like, I only had to give the, you want to date my daughter speech one time, you know, so that was awesome. For those of you who don't have a daughter, it's kind of hard for me to explain um, what I'm feeling uh, because I didn't think there was going to be anybody in the world who felt about my daughter and my baby girl. Um, I didn't think there was anybody that was going to feel the same way until I met Aiden. And I know that he feels the same way that I feel about Sophia. When the pastor asked me uh, a couple hours ago, who gives this woman away? I was thinking to myself, I'm not really giving my daughter away, I'm gaining another son into my family. And that's how much I love you. I love you like one of my own children. And I love both of you guys. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that they have a once in a lifetime kind of love. It's the kind of love that people wish for and make movies about. It's a true love where two people fit so seamlessly and so effortlessly together. And let's just say on some parallel universe where you and I never met before, and I had described the perfect person for Sophie, I would hands down completely describe you. Can I get a louder aw? Come on, that was sweet. Thank you.